So as you can see, there's a very noticeable difference in art style between these comic pages and these comic pages. And Source, I know you're probably not watching this, but if you are, I can only imagine how cringy it must feel. Trust me, we've all been there. And to be honest, I'm not really going to be all that harsh for two reasons. Number one, the art style is actually not that bad at first. You quickly get used to it. No, the only problem with the art style in the earlier pages is that they look rough. Like, if you really look at the outlines, you'll know what I mean. Number two is that the art style kept getting better and better as the comic went forward. And I absolutely love that about the visuals. Over time, as Source got more and more used to drawing the characters, she had plenty of time in the world to refine the art style. So if you read through the pages, it's almost as if you're looking at her evolutionary art process. And as an artist myself, I can't help but adore that. So don't diss your older work too harshly, Source. Now look at you. If it wasn't for your old work, you wouldn't have been a master artist now. Anyways, now to the story of this. So, Rainbow Dash gets a love letter from a supposed secret admirer named Brawly, only to find out that it wasn't him who sent it. It was Gilda. After a fight and a detention, Rainbow and Gilda get the idea to play the same prank on Fluttershy. Only this time, they want to keep the prankster a secret. It seems like your standard high school slash college drama. But the way the characters are written is actually a lot more clever than you'd think. Every character isn't a complete jerk or insecure, and all the dialogue and reactions sell it. Brawly's face in particular in this scene is already brutally sad. I mean, wow. Every panel on this one page shows him devolving from confusion to fear to sadness all in one page. That is impressive. Even without the dialogue, this would convey everything you need to know, by just the line work alone. And as for the dialogue, it's even more impressive. I mean, just read this. Just, wow. That is an absolute brutality if I have ever seen it. Seriously, the dialogue has to be one of the absolute best parts of the comic, bar none. It is just so well written, it's like it could be in a play. And just from that alone, we can see that Rainbow Dash and Gilda have a long way to go before having any kind of success, and it appropriately bites them back later. Literally, Rainbow and, by extent, Gilda are referred to as bullies in this page. Also, notice how in the next page, when Brawly apologizes, he doesn't say, I'm sorry I called you bullies, he says, I'm sorry I called you Rainbow Crash. And why is that? Because at the time, being a bully wasn't what was most important to Rainbow Dash. She rants in Brawly's face and literally beats on Gilda. And you want to know the most amazing part about this? Everything that I talked about doesn't make her unlikable. She's actually still sympathetic. When she finds out Gilda wrote the letter instead of Brawly, she gets enraged that she tried to do that. In this panel right here, she even says she got enraged because Brawly got dragged into the prank. And to make matters even more amazing, Gilda even says she wrote it because she wanted to know how enraged Rainbow would get. And she understandably got mad that an innocent pony got dragged into a situation like that. And they both got the proper karma for their actions both figuratively and literally. So Rainbow isn't really a bad pony, she just isn't aware of how devastating it could be to some pony who can't handle a prank as well as she does. Or even more so, Rainbow has something else a lot deeper behind it that she needs to get out of the way, which we'll be focusing on for the next chapter. And boy, does this next part of the comic get harsh. So, as I said, 
they play the same prank on Fluttershy, and they don't say who wrote it, so no pony gets involved. Or so they think. So when Fluttershy reads the letter, she actually thinks it's real. And then we get introduced to our antagonist. The three Pegasus bullies who are named Billy, Hoops, and Score in this comic. They gang up on Fluttershy, swipe the letter, and start mocking her for it. Rainbow Dash, of course, is about to save Fluttershy, but Gilda stops her from doing it. As that would not only get them suspended, but it would prevent them from joining the Speedsters team, which Billy's uncle is coaching. We'll get into this in the next chapter, but just keep in mind, this is a goal they want. It's looking less and less likely due to their fight earlier. Ultimately, Rainbow does give in and stops them, but Gilda leaves. And what a turn of events this turns out to be. Thankfully, it doesn't devolve into a fight, and Rainbow actually tries to solve this through peaceful means. But throughout the whole thing, Billy does everything he can to trigger Rainbow Dash. Between calling her by her most hated nickname bringing up a similar situation where she defended Fluttershy when they were all younger, bringing up the fight from earlier, calling RD and Fluttershy a couple, and calling RD a filly fooler and throwing the note in her face. I mean, wow. Throughout this whole comic, it does everything in its power to get you to hate Billy as much as possible. And for all the right reasons. His uncle is in control of these speedsters RD wants to be a part of. He constantly bullies everyone without any thought, thinking his bullying has some kind of holier-than-thou standard. And he never shuts up about RD. He sucks. And yeah, thankfully, he eventually does get karma in his own way later down the line. As he walks away, though, he very much triggered Rainbow Dash, and all rage she held inside due to what Billy had bought up from past experiences and current ones explodes, and unfortunately, Fluttershy is the only one who RD takes it out on. She yells at Fluttershy, telling her to leave and don't talk to me like I'm your friend, and calls her a name which is probably the worst way you could tell Fluttershy to screw off without even saying the words. It's easy to tell from this, Rainbow is easily triggered, and everything that's happened to her in the past, the fight from earlier, the prank, and what's going on here, it's all understandable as to why she would have this outburst. And we see her shame and guilt for everything in the last panel of the chapter. We don't even see her face, but you can tell it's hanging low. She immediately feels guilty for all of this. And it's interesting what this presents. It gives you the impression that Rainbow wants to be mature and not take this as childishly harsh as she did. She wants to grow up, but she can't until she finally processes whatever is going on in her mind. She needs to unleash her inner child and allow that inner child to grow into an adult, which is what we see through the rest of the story. It's amazing. The comic conveys so much with so little. And we're only just beginning. 